Hey, welcome to my channel. So glad you stopped by. If I can get you guys to hit that like and share these videos, that will greatly, greatly mean the world to me. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. We're going to be looking at some crazy videos about some things that's been going on. 2024 A is massive a scary altar year. Already awaits where the heifers are to How many people have heard of the red heifer? According to some like, beliefs, I didn't hear about that. I knew nothing right about it. On the Mount of Olives, looking directly but yeah, that's, where the temple that's, once stood. But something else that's different. That stands like, in its place. Is this really the a Dome sign? The of the Rock and al Mosque. I mean, the Bible spoke about it. And these people Any other cuckoo yep yep I mean, uh, cartoons, but oh, well, we already one. know how the Simpsons do. How are you Great guys doing? Texas about Red Angus flying them I tell you when I started looking into it, 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 it got me to think, got me to scratch my head a little bit, I man. Many evangelicals believe these red heifers will usher Christ's second what coming. If? The ceremony could take place any day. Rapture isn't coming. There haven't been any ominous signs. <laughs> I'm not going to do too much talking, but let's watch these videos and every now and again I might say something, but uh, I really want to know how you guys feel about these videos. Make sure you stay to the end though. Don't miss a beat. Do you remember when five unblemished red heifers arrived in Israel on September 15th, 2022? Those red heifers came all the way from a privately owned ranch along the Brazos River in a town called Glen Rose, Texas. Glen Rose. Okay, here's a question for you guys. This is supposed to be going to Israel. Why are they taking cattle from Texas? Are there no red heifer on that part of the planet? I don't know, just a thought that popped in my head, y'all. Texas just so happens to be in the path of totality on April 8th, 2024. Welcome to part four of things you probably haven't heard about the 2024 total solar eclipse. The 2017 eclipse went through seven cities named Salem, and the 2024 eclipse is going to go through seven cities named Nineveh, and both of these eclipses are seven years apart. It's time to talk about the number seven, but first we have a quick Hebrew lesson. Elohim is a plural noun meaning gods or deities in Hebrew. The plural is important because it validates everything Yeshua said that was recorded in the New Testament. In Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, Yeshua says, I am the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end, the one who was, the one who is, and the one who is to come, the Almighty. In Genesis chapters 1 and 2, we see Elohim created the heavens, the earth, and everything in them in six days. In Genesis 2 verse 3, Elohim blessed the seventh day, making it holy. We're literally one chapter and a couple verses into the Bible and Elohim is blessing the seventh day, making it holy, showing us how significant the number seven is. We continue to see the number seven throughout the word of God. Here are just a few examples in no particular order. Jacob served Laban for seven years. Pharaoh's repetitive dream featured seven fat oxen representing seven years of plenty and seven lean oxen representing seven years of famine. There were seven branches of the golden lampstand. There were seven trumpets and seven priests who sounded them at the siege of Jericho. The people marched around the walls of Jericho for seven days. Noah entered the ark with seven family members God shut the door. Then seven days later, the floodwaters covered the earth. Once in the land, the children of Israel were commanded to observe the Shemitah, known as the year of release. It was a sabbatical year in which all of the land rested for the entire year. 
debts were forgiven, land was returned to its owner, and captives were set free. The Feast of Unleavened Bread lasts seven days. The Festival of Booths, known as Sukkot, is also seven days long. The Sabbath is on the seventh day of the week. The tribulation will last seven years. There are seven churches, seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls, all mentioned in the book of Revelation. The ordination ceremony performed by Moses in the book of Leviticus chapter 8 required oil to be sprinkled seven times on the altar. To complete the ordination ceremony, the priests had to stay at the entrance of the tabernacle for seven days and seven nights. According to the Torah given to the children of Israel at Mount Sinai, anyone who touches a dead body, a human bone, or a grave is ceremonially unclean for seven days. During the time of King Hezekiah, the festival of unleavened bread was celebrated for seven days. Then the assembly decided to continue celebrating and rejoicing for another seven days. The dedication of Solomon's temple was celebrated for seven days. And just after that dedication, the assembly celebrated the feast of Sukkot together for another seven days. Ezekiel's temple, which many believe will be the third temple, will be cleansed and atoned for for seven days. Now let's get back to the red heifers in Israel. One of them is going to be sacrificed soon, quite possibly this year. One of the motives of the October 7th attack is attributed to the red heifers that were taken from Texas to Israel. Just take a look at this article in CBS News. The spokesperson for Hamas, Abu Ubaida, began a speech marking the 100th day of the war in Gaza, accusing the Jews of bringing red cows to the Holy Land, citing it as one of the motives of the attack. After one of these unblemished red heifers all the way from Texas is sacrificed in Israel, a priest is going to take its blood and sprinkle it not one, not two, but seven times toward the front of the temple or tabernacle. Where will this temple be built and which priest is doing the sprinkling? My answers might surprise you. Come back for part five. Until next time, bye. We have an update on the Red Heifer. They have built the altar on the Mount of Olives and hummus. One of the major reasons that they attacked Israel in October was because of the Red Heifers, because the Dome of the Rock sits on the Temple Mount right now. And by doing this sacrifice of the Red Heifers, it is an all out threat of being like, we're going to get rid of the Dome of the Rock and rebuild the temple. The yeah. Muslims were just like, no way. It's a whole different narrative. What are the like potential? Okay, question. A red heifer is a, technically is that a red bull? I'm a, I'm just never mind. Back to the video. Implications of this being enacted. The Dome of the Rock is completely sacred to the Muslim faith. Yep. And if that's destroyed, you will not only have every Muslim nation, yeah. you'll have every Muslim in the world. Oh, well, it'll be like the Battle of Armageddon, which talks about all the nations rising up against Israel. It's just, it's crazy that they literally have a uh, sacrifice altar built. Said. And they said and it'll happen. recently built? By the time this comes out, they could have already done it because they said it'll happen every, any day between now and Passover, which is in the end of April. So I say all that just to be like, yo, just be ready for anything. I've been hearing a lot of people saying, be ready for anything. Something is coming. What do you guys think? You think something's on the horizon? I've actually experienced this in real life and I should have recorded it. What does it mean when you see a lot of black birds or crows on one area? Tell me in the comments below. Where are they coming from? Oh my God, this is like forget the world or leave the world behind. Now, I've showcased this video in a prior video I put out. Y'all can go back and check it out. But uh, there was no light source coming from the ground shooting up. I mean, 
I'm still trying to figure out how can that possibly be done from the ground shooting up to put an image in the sky like that. Or is that something else? The thing turned around, whatever it was. Hey, I mean, did y'all see it turn around? What do y'all think about this video? Could our Earth be vastly larger than we've been led to believe? Wait till you hear the unsettling theory I'll share at the end. In the realm of geographic mysteries, debates have swirled around the true shape of the Earth. Beyond the familiar spherical versus flat Earth discussions, some theories delve into even more profound territory. Imagine an Earth that's significantly larger than current maps show. Consider this. What if the notion of only seven continents is merely a fragment of the whole story? There's a theory that Antarctica is more than a frozen wasteland. It's a massive icy boundary concealing unknown continents beyond. Picture explorers venturing past this icy frontier to uncover 20 hidden continents, realms of prehistoric beasts, alien civilizations, and unimaginable wonders. But there's a more unsettling idea. Our known seven continents could be akin to a colossal corporate farm overseen by a cabal of ultra-rich families. Could these elites hail from those hidden lands? For the disturbing questions, why is exploration in Antarctica heavily restricted? And have you ever considered that every image of Earth provided by Google or NASA is a 3D render, not a real photograph? What might they be concealing about our planet's true expanse? A web-like substance falling from the skies across the area. That sticky and fluffy substance we were telling you about has been seen in Monterey, Santa Cruz, and San Benito counties this morning. It's like spider silk, but that has not been confirmed to be the, the source. If you stepped outside today, you may have noticed this sticky web-like substance falling from the sky in the central coast. Viewers from all across our area have been sharing these photos and videos of it with us. This sounds like something straight out of a horror movie. Spiders falling from the sky across California's central coast. Disturbing story here, hundreds of birds are dead after slamming into McCormick Place. It happened overnight. The Tribune is reporting nearly a thousand birds died after colliding with that building. An unusual situation at McCormick Place today. Nearly a thousand birds found dead. This is not a science project. These rows and rows of birds you see pictured here met their death in Chicago Wednesday night while making their migratory journey to the south. Right. Well, look at the sky tonight. A day before the eclipse, we're seeing things like this. Okay, this person placed this up on the internet saying that a uh, camera that she had in front of the house actually took a picture of this. She said she had like a little trail cam that they used when they would go out hiking and that a lot of things were going missing. Her dog went missing, her cat, dog's neighbor. And then two months later, this is what she's seeing. What do you think guys? What is this? What is this, guys? This be true. How many cryptoids are out there? How many different species are underground? 
when they come up, what do they eat? Dogs, cats, humans? This is crazy. Why so many cryptos are now being caught on camera like never before? Trail cams, video cameras, phone cameras. This is amazing, guys. What's your thoughts? What do you think? The year 2024 is considered the worst year in history in terms of weather and economic crisis as it is the time. And the predictions from a mysterious time traveler about the weird upcoming events in 2024 make everything even crazier. Save this and come back if they prove to be true. On April 9th, ocean waters turn black for a week and many unknown sea creatures wash up on shore. On May 27th, the Second American Civil War begins as Texas secedes from the country, followed by other states. It will eventually lead to an all-out war with involvement from other countries and nuclear weapons. On August 8th, massive versions of over 40 mysterious species are discovered in a secret part of the Amazon rainforest. These include six-foot butterflies, three-foot long ants, five-foot spiders, 200-foot snakes, and tree-sized cats. On September 19th, the first-ever Category 6 hurricane occurs on the U.S. East Coast. It makes landfall in Florida as a Category 5 before returning to the ocean, strengthening and slamming into South Carolina as a Category 6. On October 25th, a very famous musician comes out and reveals that he had faked his death. Everyone will know who he is. He is known as a legend of his time and will be even more famous than Taylor Swift. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and if you wish to help the channel out, here's the cab cash app, only if you wish. Thank you, and I'll see you.